Hi guys, it's teacher Erica again telling you what to expect during your demo interview. Now this is the very first step after you've sent in your application. It's going to take about 30 minutes. You'll have a 10 minute interview question where your interviewer will ask you about your experience um, and things like that. And then you'll teach a 10 minute demo lesson. You will have a chance to preview these slides before it's time to actually interview with that lesson. My suggestion as always is to know these slides backwards and forwards. Then the last five minutes of your interview will be a kind of wrap up and reflection with your interviewer. I suggest asking, asking what can I do better um, or what things did I do well, things like that so that way you can apply all of that knowledge and take it on to your Mach 1 lesson which will be your next step in the interview process. Now with your interviewer you want to make sure that you're fun and energetic. You want to make sure that you are prepared. You might want to have some props. You want to be friendly. Um, make sure when you're teaching that you're using basic words. Keep everything very, very simple and speak slowly. And when I say simple words, I mean, don't say, I went to the zoo and I saw a lion and a triceratops and, and, and lots of elephants and really big animals. We had, no, don't do that. You can say, I went to the zoo. I saw a tiger, right? Very, very simple. Make sure you speak very slowly pronounce every syllable because this is what you'll have to do when you're teaching now for my demo interview I had to teach the letter T the letter T if you're thinking about applying make sure that you teach whoa the big T and the small t. Use your voices. Big and small. Also, use the proper pronunciation. T, t. It's not t, t, right? T. So again, big t, small t, 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 t. I would suggest using the word small instead of little just because small is one syllable and a lot easier to pronounce. If you have any props, any props for your demo, like a tiger, it'd be great to use your tiger in your demo lesson. You can move it towards the screen, away from the screen. It can hop across. You can look at it. Now, you don't have to go out and buy a tiger. You can print one offline for your interview or for your first demo lesson, right? You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. If you've watched my videos, you know that's my big thing. You don't have to spend a lot of money on this. Um, when you're teaching your demo lesson, you'll be using full sentences. Make sure you are using full sentences and your student is using full sentences. You'll say things like, what is it? It is a tiger, t -t tiger, or what do you see? I see a tiger, and then that's you waiting to make sure the student repeats it. You want the student to be speaking as much as possible. That's something that they're looking for in the interview. Now I'm gonna speed up here because you know I wanna keep all of my videos to five minutes or less. So make sure you look alive, have good lighting. You don't wanna be in the shadows so that way it's hard to see all of your facial features. If you don't normally wear makeup, I suggest maybe putting on a little bit of something just so you look nice and alive. Your interview may be during the middle of the night because remember that your interview is in Beijing so um, it might be a little bit harder to keep the energy up but make sure that your energy is up 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 an orange shirt is not required but it can't hurt right lastly have fun be yourself these are going to be children that you're teaching and they just want you to be energetic they don't want you to say this is letter T it's pronounced 
tea. No, that's not what they want to see. Have fun, use your hands, and you'll do a great job. If you're interested in applying or if you have any questions, use my referral link posted below in the comments. Teacher Erica, that's me, and I will help you as much as I can. Until next time, this is Teacher Erica signing off.